Video games, comics, and movies to uncensored social commentary. Nothing is off limits. With your hosts, Pistol Pete Jr., The Blue Guy, Chuck Ditch, G Roll, and Player Two, this is The Real Press Start. So sit down, load up, log in, and press start. Welcome to The Real Press Start. I'm your host, Pistol Pete Jr. I am here with Chev Didge <gasps> and G Roll, aka G Weezy, aka G Ice, aka DJ Diamond Nuts, aka the Two Set McGillicuddy. We have to speak louder. Aka <laughs> what else is there? Aka Tiny Dancer. Aka <laughs> Mr. Get Off Me Suck a Dick. Aka DJ Diamond Nuts. Aka Rob Kardashian. I said DJ. <laughs> aka Rob Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and we also uh, joined by Mr. Paul Nocha. Also, it's been a while since you've been on the. No, you weren't. No, it's been a while. It's been a while. Been a while. Yeah, never mind. Well, maybe not a while. I think one of the. Uh... Been like a month. No. No. Since I think one of the last get-togethers you guys had at your house. I don't know. Yeah, he hasn't been on. It's been a while. Been a while. Been a while. Been a while. CJ was on. Yeah, CJ. CJ yeah. was on. CJ one of, has been on a couple after. Since since I've been on, since, yeah, yeah, because the one you guys did the first one that was was, was really good. It's, so, it, 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 it's your first of 2019. Oh, it is. It is. Sick. <laughs> um, so I just go to Twitter now to look at porn. <laughs> is there porn on Twitter? There's like mad porn on Twitter. Dude. Sick. Red is better. Hey, I remember I used to go on on YouTube and just look typing in like girls kissing. Girls right? kissing. <laughs> They took it all. They took all the porn off Tumblr, right? Oh, the yeah, Tumblr yeah. as of January 2017, or uh, yeah, January 17, they took anything not safe for work off of Tumblr. What's the whole point of? That's the whole point of Tumblr, right? right? Yeah. Um, I guess there's a, there's a lot of mad neckbeards out there. Oh, I was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, with the the I saw I saw something recently. It was like it was a uh, Tumblr stock, like. Because you know it's a publicly traded company. Uh-huh. Drop, like, man. It's like literally, it's, it shows like it's a, so after the announcement, it drops. But after January seventeenth, it just it's like it's like like two cents Fucking a share. MySpace. Right yeah. Why, yeah. Why did they take porn off? Porn off. Uh, they got bought out by somebody a while back. Oh, oh, did they? I think so. Uh, I thought maybe they were just trying to. And they were trying to clean up their ass. Trying to be like Instagram pictures. or something. They're gonna be so edgy that they just don't have. Yeah, but that, I mean that's there anymore. That's what Tumblr was for. It was like. Yeah, for all these fucking weirdo chicks to show us their. But you know what's funny is I just found out because um. They're beaver. I listened to uh, Hollywood Babylon with Kevin Smith and Ralph, Gar- Ralph Garman, and they they do you this thing. That every every other episode. I know I do, <laughs> but I just I just cause I just found out about this on the sh- on their show is uh they do this thing at the end of at the end of every episode they do this thing about Liam Neeson's cock it's like because. It's like uh like Liam Neeson's cock is so big and then like they like oh like. Are you playing something? <laughs> It's like just different jokes about how big his cock is, right? Mm-hmm. But they had a website called neesoncock.com. Sick. And, but all that did was link to a Tumblr that was called Liam Neeson's <laughs> Cock. And because, just because the name was Liam Neeson's Cock, like, so uh, it, Tumblr just marked it as not safe for work. So when the January uh, 17th, yeah. Army, their, their shit got shut down. That's gay. Yeah, so all the, all the, the archive of cock jokes got deleted yeah, yeah, yeah there was oh. nothing there was no nudity on it at all it was just no. cock jokes but it got marked not safe for work and it got deleted just because of text fucking nazis yeah. right from having dicks, dicks what was it what was it like like chuck norris jokes but just oh, leon Easton's dick pretty much like, mm-hmm. okay. like there was one like I, I, there's just this let's see if i can find the picture real quick there's just been it's like a picture on the internet it's like a an airport restroom the but like it's like it's like ma- male female and then they have uh it's like a, it's a, like a just a stick figure, but it's holding a baby, uh-huh. but it doesn't look like a baby. So it was like men, women, Liam Neeson's restroom because it looks like it's just a giant cop. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> uh, but shit. <laughs> like, really... Why are you throwing shit? Damn, like really dude, broke. that scared me. I thought I was yeah. getting killed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got a bunch of stories, but let me pull some of them up. You're a real piece of shit. Yeah, you should have had those up before to have this ready so it, this can flow. Flow. 
I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm probably on the flow. But yeah, yeah, now there's the just, just like white space. We need heavy around, flow, like, bro. Oh, these guys are... Heavy flow. We need heavy flow, bro. I thought we talked about that last episode. Heavy flow. <laughs> heavy flow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> last week we talked about there's a there's a former WWE wrestler. She wasn't even a big like she was an NXT. Oh, with the tampon. Yes. Oh man, she's my babe. People lost their minds. Yeah, like, I heard about that. Was there blood wrestlers. on the tampon? That's what that's what Giro asked. I, I don't I don't think it was. I, I don't there, even if there was, I don't think it's real blood. That's, that's, fake that's blood, unsanitary. But, but that's a nice touch to put uh, fake blood on. You yeah. Know, yeah. It that's what Giro said too. Like it would have made it more disgusting. But you know, because uh, he had a point. Yeah, like, to make could, wrestling edgy. Again. It could be, it could be deadly because, like, like you know, the whole the whole point of the timeline is it goes in and expands to stay in place. That's, that's, so shoving into somebody's throat is going to expand to stay in place. That's not going to happen. But pulling, like, you, you'd be able to pull it out pretty easily. Why? It, why is she putting it down her throat? That was uh, the thing. Was like, you know, she's like. Well, no, because uh, because the article oh, yeah. described it as shoving it down her throat. throat. Yeah. When really it's probably, it's probably they're just, just kind like of putting Mr. it like she's, she's, probably yeah, cheeking yeah, it or something. Yeah. Or, yeah. Like no one's just retarded and gonna put a fucking tampon in there. Yeah. No. Exactly. But no, because but the thing was yeah, like yeah. oh, but pulling it out it could rip something. I was like what? Like it's made out of cotton. Yeah. And so then like listening back to the episode, I was thinking about like it's gonna be like some of the most gentle cotton ever because <laughs> of where it goes. Yeah. Like, so it should be fine for your throat. Yeah. Like, you should be able to just whoop, pull it out, no issues. <laughs> yeah. But I was just like, like. It's not a thousand ways to die. Or <laughs> like, <laughs> but, like, as I was listening back to it, I was just thinking about like, I just pictured this, like, like a, like a dish sponge, just, like this ragged ass, just like, <laughs> yeah. Just tearing up your throat yeah. all the way out. <laughs> Like, why would anybody... A Brillo pad? Yeah. It just t- it tears out your esophagus <laughs> with the string. Oh, uh, like, yeah. easily? Yep. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It just tears your esophagus out. Like, what the hell? Um, oh, shit. That's what I was going to show you guys, who the ghost was. She's hot, too, right? I've never seen a picture of her. Yeah. But she, um... She was only part of the Mae Young Classic, like the NXT thing. Was like mm-hmm. They brought a bunch of, like, we need female wrestlers, so let's just get a bunch of female wrestlers from the indies. And have them show up and wrestle for a tournament. And then, like, the ones that we like will keep and they'll wrestle and can go back yeah. to the fucking indies. And she was one of the ones that just, like, she had, like, I think she had two matches. Oh, okay. So she's not really even a former WWE fucking superstar. Right, right, right. <laughs> when they brought in. Oh. Now, she, she has, now she's probably fucking, I mean, now she's famous. Yeah. But I'm, I, I can understand, okay, they are trying to make the female wrestling division more, like, you know, it's not, they're not well, divas anymore. Well, yeah, they made a whole fucking pay per view about them, which was actually really good. I was just I, I watched like the previews or like the the highlights. The highlights, yeah, it was it was pretty good. Um, I was pretty chubbed out. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's supposedly they're trying to make it not about like it's not sexuality anymore. They're actually legit wrestlers. They put fucking clothes on them. The fuck, All right? They're legit. Wrestling. When they're fucking wrestling each other and their butt cheeks hanging out. Like, <laughs> what are you gonna expect people to do? Stop sexualizing like, that butt cheek. Yeah. It's like they're gonna make everybody wear just one piece. Like everybody unicards. poops. Oh, everybody. everyone has to dress like gold dust. <laughs> yeah, you have to wear a full body suit. Or, or uh, no skin. Or big show. I bet you. A giant. If we keep going down this PC. Uh, no, what was the what was the one dude? Uh, MVP. Remember he came out in the whole thing like gold. Like it was just long arms and legs. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah, he came uh, out. I think because I think because he had gang related tattoos. So they made him really? like, just cover everything up. Dang, what a bad boy rebel. Right? Remember the... Or who, who, who remember we were talking about last time? The What are they called? The, the ones that would come and censor everybody? Right to censor. Oh, right, right to, to censor. Yeah. yeah. With Stevie like, Richards. Stevie and... Richards and uh, Ivory, I think it was. Oh, yeah. And someone joined yeah, them at one that point. Was edgy. Uh, I thought like the... The, the Godfather. Yeah. Yeah, the Godfather. Didn't they? Oh, it no, was the Godfather. It was the Godfather. Yeah, Because yeah. yeah, but... Uh, you became like, a good father. Like that whole, yeah. that, that, that kind of defined the era too back then. Yeah, because, because that's there what was like a lot of edgy TV coming out, comedy, music. Yeah. And then there was like a lot of like Hillary, uh, video, like there was a lot of edgy video games coming out and then you would have like Hillary and shit coming after video games. Yeah. And being like, oh, people who play violent video games are murderers and listen to violent music are murderers. Mm. And blah, 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 blah. Columbine. And like, and then we were so like, and then, like, MTV and shit, they were all like, oh, fuck that. We're doing raunchy shit. Yeah. And that, putting on raunchy music. Well, that was, like, And then now, like, they, like, the PC movement is, like, stronger than ever. Dude, yeah. And, yeah. It, like, they kind of subtly slipped in, and now everything's, like, starting to kind of get, like, neutered. Ooh. And then, like, like they're going to start, like, being, like, 
Well, like it's like very... the P- it's like the PC people kind of they they became they got into the industry, right? So then yeah, now, like, I'm a fan so of... now all the games are kind of going along with it because now they probably have some sort of stake inside of it. Where, you, you but make, where before it was just people on the outside saying, "Oh, well, you this would is think stupid. that yeah. this should have happened." I mean, it's the internet now, so anyone could put anything on the fucking <coughs> internet. Yeah, like, like you think it would. That's be when more... like like XM Radio and Sirius Radio or Sirius, like they started doing like they cuss on the radio now because they didn't yeah. be part of the. the yeah. fucking, well, you know, the, okay, a lot of that. A lot AMF. of that, we were having yeah. this conversation the other day about because a lot of it started with Janet Jackson and that nipple. Oh yeah! Like ever since then, like shit got real. So like, well know, yeah, like well, we I guess because I was like a, I was like eleven, twelve, and I saw that full on accident. Like, literally, no, it, it was a flash, quick. like a fraction of a second, and there was yeah. no nipple even. Yeah, yeah, there was like a big old like a uh, like she had a piercing that covered she the whole like, areola. Uh, I don't know. I fucking, I remember no, it was, it was a piercing. Oh, that was a piercing. It was a piercing. No. Let me see. I'll, I'll I think they started post. I don't know, but. It's not it was like just I was, like a titty. It wasn't even like how hard was that for me to see? Like I was just like, oh, I saw that. Sick. I didn't. We talked about it for like a week at school, and after yeah, nobody that was, was traumatized about it. Yeah, they made who, a big like, deal about it. I think it's these fucking fucking parents. Yeah, it's those white parents, helicopter parents, and shit. They're like, oh, I can't have my kid subject to uh, cringeworthy material and bad language and nudity. It's the same thing with vaccines. Vaccine. Uh, against vaccines. That's not real, dude. That's it. That's, That's exactly Photoshop. What... I saw a boob. I saw a that boob. was exactly what it's it was. Kind of gross. Yeah. She has kind of gross nipples. When you're that twelve, no nipples are gross. Yeah, yeah, when you're when you're twelve, you National Geographic African nipples are. It yeah. looks like Michael Jackson too. Like, yeah, what year was that? That was. Like, that looks like Michael Jackson's shoot. face. Well, it is Janet Jackson. I know, but like it's like. Michael. Oh, it was. I think it's two thousand three. Super Bowl. She have a fucking ninja star in her. <laughs> yeah, she's she a ninja star. In her. It's hilarious. Um, yeah, that's what yeah it, was. it was 12. 12, 13. Sick. So when did that? Yeah, I don't even remember. But it was a long 2004. Time. Was it sick? 2004. 2004. Ah, yeah. But it all, it all started with that. Like, really, that's like that's where people were like, my kid saw a nipple on TV. How am I supposed to play, explain tits to him now? Although, have you... TV is using like people say bitch and ass and yeah they're not saying fuck and cunt and the thing it's weird okay like you know what you know what it is so I think they're letting stuff go but I think it's more of the the content that they're putting out like I think it depends because like if you notice in the U S anything that can be considered I think it's sexual just, it's hard is censored uh, here but it's hard. violence and and language isn't it's because in the U K it's the other way around. Or most of the world is the other way around. Yeah. Violence is censored more everywhere else, whereas, like... Language and sex. Language and they sex. They don't give like a fuck. Whatever. That's how it should be. I agree. But, I mean... And I hate how you can just make movies. Like, you can make movies that involve, like, uh, pedophilia, uh, racism, rape. Uh, yeah, but if you didn't have those sexism, movies... Sexism. Then... But that's what I'm saying. You can make all those movies and nobody complains... But you can't make a video game like that, or you can't make a song. Like, only if you're black, you can make a fucking song where you say bitch every other word. Well, I, I think I think when it comes to video games, uh, people, I don't know. people get upset about video games because That's video games it. are marketed towards kids. They're not. Even not though, anymore. Not anymore, but like, but that's still the thinking about it. The thinking when it comes to video games is that's a kid's toy. It's marketed towards kids. Even though they have the ESRB, they have the ratings, that they, I, they're... Because kids are... They, These kids ruin everything? Yes, kids ruin everything. Fucking kids. Um, Cash kids. Fuck you, kids. I'll, I'll fight them. Fight that fucking kid. If he gets in my <laughs> face, I'll drop kick that motherfucker. But, I mean, that's the thing. Is like, there's still... I mean, uh, there's... there's. I wonder, I wonder if there's a breakdown of, like, ratings. What? For yeah. Like, like, so, like, how many... Like, how many... Uh, uh, how many... Uh, and for mature games are as far as, as compared to E for to everyone. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um Are they still doing mature? What, what I don't I don't remember ever seeing Oh no, it's T for teens, right? Yeah. But, they look for everyone. They don't do mature. And for mature. Well, yeah, it's the eighteen and over one, right? Do they still do mature ratings? Yeah. Yeah. They don't they won't do like with, 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 on consoles they won't do adult only games. Oh. Mature is like is seventeen plus. I think I'm gonna start 
slowly moving. There's adult games. Well, there's yeah. like a like for for playing. TV shows. There's like a NR seventeen. Oh, not rated seventeen plus. Oh, yeah, there's yeah, like yeah, a yeah. there's like a that kind of rating for video games on so on like, play, on, on uh, computers. Sure, you you but nothing for console. On, on PC. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Moving on to a PC. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm getting frustrated with this shit. Like they're all big, like like God of War. Like that shit is so neutered compared to God of War fucking one through three or whatever. Just like fucking, just yeah, fucking fight. fighting and feasting. <laughs> yeah, you like rip intestines out and shit, and like fuck chicks. You fuck chicks so hard that the fucking bases fall off. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, it was, it was way. I mean, not, not to say that none of the games are good. They're good, but it's like, it's like there's no. Yeah, I want to see cartoon porn. Fuck there's yeah. nothing crazy anymore. There's nothing that's pushing the the boundaries of like, I don't know. There's nothing pushing the boundaries anymore, man. Mm-hmm. It's because guys are edgy, man. It's because it's become more of a like a a business business where they're like because there's right, so, there's, there's way so they're there's trying to make yeah, as much no, money as possible there's always so they way more get money to as being, many people as possible. Yeah, there's always way more money into being clean. Yeah, well that yeah, cause cause that they yeah. want to cater obviously to the parents to buy the shit for their kids because the kids can't buy shit. Piss of shit. Yeah, well think about it, and that's why that's why like. There was it's such like, a there was such a pushback to re, to make Deadpool a rated R movie uh, was because like how are we gonna market towards kids if it's rated R? So you kids shouldn't be fucking watching Deadpool anyway. Deadpool's not a, it's not a, it's the comic Either. book isn't for kids. Yeah. So they shouldn't make the movie for kids. But right. the, the thinking behind the movie studios is but comic books then, are he, for kids. So how uh, can we make you know what I mean? Or like the Punisher. Yeah, but even Man then, Gabriel. that was pretty. Deadpool was pretty gnarly. Like that wasn't. Me and Gabriel had a very serious discussion about Punisher, Punisher on the way over here. Did you really? And it's pretty new. Dude. The new yeah. one or the the, the first season? the first one the first season like the good, new one but, the new one sucks but he's saying the TV show compared to how the movies were or even just how the comics are for Punisher they like he's not oh right he should, should be fucking fucking he's like up. crazy right. yeah and like he's like very gun ho American where like uh, Frank Castle was like a city Italian fucking guy yeah this was like a country I like country music and I like America. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like yeah. that's not Punisher. All right, check this out. So, uh, in 2010, there was a five percent five percent of the games released in the U.S. were M for Mature. So this, I have a breakdown of for this is for 2018. Forty two percent were E for Everyone, nineteen were E10, thirty percent were T for Teen, and nine percent were M for Mature. That's a good percent. That's not a bad percentage, right? Yeah, because how many yeah, adults actually play video games? Well, check this out. That's why I have this. Three out of four people, adults, play video. Oh, I guess that... that <laughs> Are you saying it. I'm not an adult? <laughs> no, I don't play video games. Well, I said uh, three out of the four play video games. Okay. Uh, so you play video games. Under 18, 28%. 18 to 35, 29%. 36 to 49, 20%. But, 50 years or older, but 23%. What's, but what's the advantage... What's the reasoning to being like, oh, we don't do adult-only games on our console? Uh, I don't know. So I know Sony came out and said, "Well, I'll never do adult only games." Like console. why? They never gave. I, I, they gave a reason, but let me see. Let and me why does everybody on. else follow C two? Because they're all fascist pigs. Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't well, don't uh. I feel like people would probably associate adult only with like porn. Yeah. I so that, that's probably why they, they don't want to do why it. Why don't they change the change the name? Or change the like rating. X an XX rating. Or call it like an erotic. X and X, it's an erotic <laughs> video game. <laughs> oh, so it's there. you know it's it's not the consoles that it's a it's like GameStop won't allow it. It says retailers won't allow AO games in their stores. They have net. So what about what? you could just buy it from the PlayStation? Network. Yeah, why not on the network? Buy online, yeah. Because that's what happened with Manhunt too. Is is a bunch of retailers because they were initially when they first came out. That's why they neutered it so much. Was when it was first like the, when it was first released. ESRB was like, that's an adult only game. Even Best Buy like, would be like, no, we're not gonna sell. Yeah. It. Well, Best Buy doesn't carry porn. Bullshit. But I remember, I remember walking well, in Target, in like Walmart with it or something with Michael, and Michael saw Manhunt, and he's like, oh, that's a good game. He, well, told, see, he told me that, that's a good game. Okay, the first game, like, okay. the first Manhunt game was, I think it was released before the ER, ESRB. Yeah, it was. That was Manhunt. One of the, what game is Manhunt? Did you never played Manhunt. It's Rockstar. Oh. What, what console did it come up for? PS2. I thought the ESRB's been around since like the fucking like 
No, that, that Manhunt was, was pretty much the it game like, that made them do uh, ESRB for them. Uh, yeah, it was like, yeah. Well, Rockstar, really. Yeah, whole Rockstar. I mean, then Grand Theft Auto should be pretty fucking adult only. In 1994 is when the No, ESRB the Manhunt was, was like, <laughs> the worst, probably the worst thing they've done. <laughs> the worst, like, <laughs> it, it, that was the theme of the game was violence. No, the yeah. ESRB has been around since 1994. It was like Manhunt that. came out in 2003. Remember that? Oh, really? Remember yeah. that uh, movie with Stone Cold Steve Austin when they're on the island? They're like the, oh, the, sure. They kill the, each uh, other. Or they get blown up. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. It's so, like that, but more brutal. Oh, that's not but more bad. Like, like you're, you need you're, to kill you're, with you're, the, the, the story of the game is he, he, <laughs> the guy was a, a convicted murderer, uh-huh. sentenced to death row. This guy pays the government to fake his death, and like he films him. Like, okay, so there's a gang hunting you, and you have to get from point A to point B without being killed. Okay. And you have to kill everyone you can on your way. And, like, uh, so it was Sounds a stealth like a pretty game. dope game. It was pretty badass. And one of the things I loved about it was, like, because you had to sneak up on people. And, like, you, once you got into a range, you, there was, like, an attack, like, a kill button. Uh-huh. But if you, if, like, the, the longer you stayed behind them within, like, there was, like, a sweet spot. There was these arrows that would show. And, like, as the arrows turned, like, yeah. the longer you waited, the more brutal the kill would be. Oh, sick. Yeah, and, like, there was one, like, so, like, like, this is the only game I've ever seen that had a plastic bag as a weapon. Then he would choke them. Yeah, or so, put, so put them like, over their head for the for like the 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 like the least brutal kill. So he would just put it over their head and just like hold it until they fell. Oh dang! And then like for like and then I forget I forget what the secondary one was, but the fine the like, the most brutal one with with the plastic bag was he would get it and he would hold it until they like and then he would flip them around and just start like just smashing them in the face until they just went down. Dang. <laughs> There was one, the, the one, there's the two that I remember the most, though. There was a, there's a glass shard that you use as a knife. And, like, so the the most brutal one was um, he would stab him in the back, and they were like, oh, and then he would grab him, and then he would just, like, start shoving into their eye over and over. <laughs> Why is that bad? And then, <laughs> it's not it's really. That bad, but I mean. Yeah, this is the, what, what early 2000s? Early, it was 2004. 2003, and, but so. the, and this one, they had a camera, like, because, like, again, the guy was filming it, so there was multiple cameras oh. everywhere. So as you're doing it, the camera would just zoom in on like just different angles of yeah. it. That is like that, that that's uh, violence that's acceptable now. Yeah. <laughs> Back then though, like. <laughs> and then, I don't know. Nah. There, there was another one. You had a sickle, and this one saw came out I, at that time and stuff. Yeah. I think so. But no, then, uh, like I'm saying, movies, movies, like movies are different. Movies are different. Yeah. yeah for video games though, but don't get mad at movies. But the, I remember uh, the, the, the 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 like the low level with the sickle was he would slice your throat from behind. The high level one was he would turn around and stick into like shove it into their eye, uh-huh. but the medium one was the one that was most brutal to me because he would stay behind them and he would just pretend between their legs and just swipe it back, like <laughs> nice. Yeah, <laughs> like that should have been the most brutal one because he would do that. Like, Did their just, guts fall out? Like no, no, like no. He would do it from, from like yeah. He's like ripping their taint open. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give them their, a vagina. Their shit should come out. <laughs> Some, yeah, right. Shit. <laughs> it's you like can, a belly button, like I mean, you pop it open. Just but see the fatalities on. I don't know if that's how. Like the the ones on, like the, the the fatalities on on this Mortal Kombat that's coming out, they're fucking. Yeah, brutal. yeah. Even though the last Mortal Kombat was pretty. Yeah, gnarly. no. This yeah, one, why like, do you get away with it in Mortal Kombat, but you can't do it in the fucking? Because it's the know. name. Well, see, but then you think about Mortal Kombat too. Like the original fatalities. I mean, yeah, they were kind of brutal, but they weren't like as detailed as they were. Like when the first Mortal Kombat came out, okay, freezing someone or ripping someone's heart out, like that's kind of like. It's fake. Know. It's yeah. impossible to happen. I mean, but it's also been done in movies. It's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one's gonna, but I, you could also, but I can see why Manhunt. It's pretty realistic. Like, somebody could do that to you. Yeah. But no one's gonna get a fucking. No one has shit coming out of their hands and is gonna rip and ripping shit out of you. Yeah. So maybe there is that point of realism and then like it's, obviously it, abstract. It's a different yeah. tone. Yeah. It's a different yeah. It's, a, yeah, it's more cartoon yeah. violence than it is real realism. But, uh, but like with this with this new Mortal Kombat, like that one chick that she can she controls blood. Like oh really? Yeah, like she's like a, she's like a water bender. They can control. She can control blood. Oh man! And one of there her, is blood she bending. Blow people yeah, up blood then. Huh? She could just like make people super hot and boil their blood and just blow them up. Pretty much. But no, her, one of her fatalities. What she does is like like because you're bleeding, so she sucks the blood out of you. Uh huh. And she like turns into these like spikes. And at one point, they, you're, the guy that she's doing the fatality puts his hand up to block it. It just goes through his hand into his chest. That's cool. And then, like, you fall. Like, yeah, it's brutal. Like, they fucking, like, the fatalities on this one are brutal. Ah. Fucking um, Baraka slices off the front of your face. 
Oh, okay. I think he does that in the other one, too. Oh, no, no. He rips off the face. Yeah, he, he rips just, off your face. He just, like, palms your face, rips it off. <laughs> and then he cuts off the front of your skull. That's what it is. It's okay, it cuts, it cuts. Yeah. Oh, and it puts the face so back on. No, no. no, then he just stabs you in your brain, pulls it out, yeah, eats yeah. your brain. <laughs> <laughs> They're brutal on this one, man. When does that one come out? Oh, yeah, they just, now? They just really announced oh. it, uh, like, a week ago. It's going to come yeah. out soon. Oh, okay. It's already done, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, it, look, it, it looks really It funny. does look a little better. It looks better. I like the customization. We were talking Probably about Probably like movie. April. April, May. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it sucks. Why heck of a <laughs> mad game gets away with it? I don't know. Because it's, it's cartoony. I think it's because maybe it might be cartoony. It's cartoony. It's more cartoony. Cartoon though. violence. And, well, I, well, and see, the thing, that's the thing about Mortal Kombat, though, is like when you think about it, that game is all based should, on that violence. They should, yeah, but so is Manhunt. They should uh, change. The rating name, uh, not to adult only, but to like R. 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 Why don't you just oh yeah, rated R. R. Yeah, yeah. They could just go with the movie ratings. And I don't know probably, why they didn't. It'd probably be a lot it. easier. I don't know why they didn't go with the movie. So like it's PG so like you, rated R. Yeah, because like because so that's it's, probably, it's just meant for kids that can't go buy it on their own. They need their parents. Because you have to buy right, it. Yeah, right. Yeah. But that's probably the whole, that's probably the main thing with like why it's so easy for like a kid to get it because. Parents probably don't really understand what M means. They're just like, oh, M. Like, and they just fucking buy the thing for their kid. But, like, yeah. if it's R, R. But who buys games anymore, on like, physically? I do. It's getting Not less and less, but yeah. Yeah. It's getting, it's only, it's yeah, that's, that too, got, actually. But GameStop got sold, right, to somebody? GameStop, yeah. They, they got, I feel I like know, it's a matter of time. They're about to get bought out by somebody. I feel like it's a matter of time before they're just gone altogether. They're going to be the new blockbuster. But, yeah, right? But, no, you want to check? You want to hear something crazy? Okay. So, Not do you. Really. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it, it well, it's kind of it, go, it goes directly to the ESRB and the way they rate games and stuff. So, do you guys remember on the P- PS One there was a game, well, the Wu Tang fighting game? Yeah. Def Jam Fight no. for New York. No Wu Tang. No Wu Tang Shaolin style. Uh, I think it's in Justin's room, but yeah, I, I, it, I have it. It's a it's a it's a fighting game. It's a four on four like fighting game. What? Yeah, with the Wu Tang Clan members and all the but they, they had fatalities in that game too. And they're pretty fucking brutal. I've never even heard of that game. Oh, it's an awesome fucking game. I love it. What the fuck have I been? Um, is it a PlayStation Two game? It's a PS One game. PS1 it's not there. Bro. It's it's in, it's in Jasmine's room. Dang. But um, that game initially was a game called Thrill Kill, and that game got can- the, the gameplay and everything's the exact same. Thrill Ooh. Kill. But Thrill Kill, the difference was like they had one character was all in like BDSM, like the like the gimp suit uh-huh. there was another character that was a prostitute like it was it had very sexual overtones as well okay. so it was violent and sexual yeah. and like the game the game was completed it was fully done and the ESRB was like we're not going to fucking rate this thing like no <laughs> and they were like well we well, the game is done what do you want us to do with it like well you guys can't release it that's all you know we we're not you can release it without a rating and the company was like uh, i forget uh virgin Virgin Interactive, you know, you know, like the Virgin Mobile, that, yeah. that company. Oh they, wow! They were like, no, we're not going to release it then. So the development company went and like they scrapped it. Like they, they still had the engine, everything was still built, but it was never even released. But who's to say they can't release it? You could just put it out. Well, as... no, the publishing company didn't want to release it, and they couldn't find anyone to pu- to publish it because there's there's yeah. two different. And they just there's... publish it themselves. Not they're such a big company, they could just be like, no. But the developer, the developing company, and the publisher are two different things. It's like being a being a rap artist, uh-huh. and like okay, yeah. I, I can put out my music myself, but if I don't have a label to put me out, it's not going to get to where I want it to be. Yeah, but if with a game like that, it was. I mean, if it's going to be a killer game. Yeah, and it was a great game, but um, oh, but it's gone. But so in the game, the gaming it. industry is slightly different. Uh-huh. Um, but so they had the game; it got scrapped. The game was completed, and then. Uh, I think Wu Tang approached somebody about like we want to make a video game, and they were like, "We got this," and they were like, "Okay." And so all they did was they changed out all the skins from those to made them and put the Wu Tang guys in it, and then they just created the story through it through some fucking uh, uh, cutscenes in there, and that uh-huh. was the game. And oh, it's a yeah. fucking great. The storyline is terrible, but the game is fucking amazing. The storyline is Wu Tang there in you know they're in New York. Uh-huh. They have their ancient Chinese master that taught them the art, the like the Shaolin art yeah. and everything. He gets kidnapped by his arch rival, and now they have to go and save him. Sick. Yeah, and that's the whole game. But like, <laughs> what about like? That's Rump? super basic. That's awesome. Yeah, but the gameplay was because it was four. It was you could do up to four people. Like it was like an arena uh-huh. style, and you could have four fighters at the same time. And that was one of the first games to do that too. Yeah, yeah. And like you, yeah, it was four Besides fighters. wrestling games. Yeah, but it was like four fighters at the same time, but it was like Mortal Kombat style. And then like, oh, so it was like two D. 
No, no, it was. I'm sorry. No, it was 3D because it was like uh, it was like not top down, but it was like you know when you're looking at it from an angle. Uh uh-uh. uh And uh, so and like you could just move around the arena. And then the way you did finishers was whatever. Like so, if you did a low punch finish, like the last the last punch you threw to kill the enemy uh-huh. was a low punch, then he would do that finisher. Oh, cool. Like, so whatever the last. Oh, so it wasn't complicated. It wasn't complicated at all. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, they had they had some better ones. Games. So I don't have to try. You don't have to try. You can just, yeah. Did they have a uh, Mortal Kombat where they made it easy to do the fatalities? Yeah, it was like you push know. X or yeah. all, all these two buttons. Well, yeah. the last, the last Mortal Kombat, the last, I think the last three has had they have they call them easy finishers. Yeah. And there are these tokens that you get. These you start off with five of them. Yeah. And you can you have the option to use them. But once you run out of them, you can you can earn them with yeah, gameplay, the, or you can you buy, could buy them. <laughs> you buy <laughs> easy fatality tokens. It's like fuck Stupid. that. Stupid. I, like, I feel like you could just go on YouTube and watch all the fatalities. Hey guys, uh, really quick, just want to take a quick break to talk about Anchor. Uh, this is the app we're using to create this podcast right now. Um, if you've ever thought about starting your own podcast, um, Anchor FM is awesome. Uh, when we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had millions of questions. We had nothing, no idea how to do it. How to record an episode? It's, it was a struggle. Um, how do you find background music? We still don't have background music, but Anchor FM lets us do that. Uh, we just don't use it. <laughs> um... How do I get my show posted? How do I get it on Apple uh, on Apple uh, Podcasts, Spotify, uh, Google Play uh, Music, all the, uh, all the other places people listen? Where do I find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcasts. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Uh, my favorite thing is that everything is done in the app. You record... You edit, you post, everything's just right there. You know, uh, when I'm not around, G Roll's able to do it. And you know, how easy is it? It's easy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, anchor.fm slash start. Get your own podcast. If you're not doing it, you're wrong. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> you pissed That was weird. Shit. Isn't that weird? Wait. Stop recording for no reason. We'll no, it wasn't that we weird. We hate you. Um, we lost like two seconds. Of what about audio. like what about like Rumble Roses? How come no one bitches about Rumble? Yeah, roses? you know that's true because that's a that's just like like straight sexual game. Women. Like they're bare, they're pretty much naked and they're just fighting. Yeah, and, and they and that one they have like it's a wrestling game, and they're they have their finishing moves, but then they also have a humiliation move, which would put them in like okay, so like, you know the Mexican stretch buster is when you put okay. You have someone's head on your shoulders and they're upside down, and you have their legs oh, and, uh-huh. and you, like, you just drop. Oh, it. sure. Well, in that game, they had that similar move, but in the humiliation mode, the camera would zoom in between their legs, and it was like it was like all oh, like yeah, and, like hearts would pop up around. Yeah, it that's and basically just, a sick. fucking porn video game. Yeah, that, that game really say, was. You don't want to make fucking. You don't want to have porn. I forgot porn. I, had, I had that game. Video somewhere. games on your console, you pieces of shit. Yeah, I have it right there. <laughs> right next to Soul Calibur. Soul, Soul Calibur. Um. The, what I liked about it because it was made by the same people that made the the WWE games, so like like the old WWE games, the good when ones. When was the last like? The so wrestling is really good in it. It's just ah. when was the last like sex scene in a video game in a big video game? Uh, even like a a uh, Pokemon. When, not when even not like Fox Professor Oak. Not even like a sex scene, what? but like an alluding. <laughs> when to, did that happen? Like the alluding <laughs> to sex. Too. Let's see, thirteen graphic sex scenes that came out of nowhere in video games. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh. Let's see, most recent. Yeah, would you stop there? <laughs> um, what else was I going to talk about? <laughs> most in sex video game sex scenes. Let's see that one. Like that. Or like that. Uh, I don't want to sound like a perp, but remember that uh, <laughs> that Paige that page Van Zandt and Rachel fight? Yeah. Like, you, you think that would have been, like, it, it would be, like, a bigger event if they were, like, in... They were like in, just like a thong and like oh yeah like barely a bra who definitely who uh what, what, what's her name Rachel uh, yeah Rachel Austin that Hawaiian fighter that UFC one uh that fine one I don't know cause, oh one with the big boobs yeah and she had a big booty thing oh the Hawaiian yeah. one and then there's that the blonde and the blonde the cute blonde sure they fought each other oh yeah but they didn't look like that in in the thing yeah they, they, yeah, they, they, they looked pretty busted. busted. 
No, they didn't. Not in the fight. Oh, I don't know. They look I've never seen. They them. look average in the fight. They look like cute. But then again, I mean, they're they're fighting. On Instagram, they look great. Oh. On Instagram, they look great, but on the UFC, they look uh, they look like like normal pretty girls you would see. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they like look more fucking, real. Yeah, that's what everybody like. That's what these fucking models look like if you see them every. They just look they're, like normal women. Hungry, yeah, yeah, but like this because like, they, they like, do. What the fuck? Yeah, because they do all these filters and touch and ups and makeup and, and angles. angles. Yeah. Oh, the Witcher, the Witcher Three had some pretty sexy. Yeah. Oh. Really? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. You said it. Um, oh, the witch had it. No, it just no, no it not really. They don't show anything. No, I was, say, I was saying boobs. if they there's alluded of, to it, though. No, there's a lot of boobs, and there's a lot. Like, they, they, at one point, they fuck on a unicorn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. That's cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, it's a stuffed unicorn, but still. Yeah. That would have been cool. Yeah, yeah. Witcher Three does does get a lot of flack for its its sex. Yeah, in Dra- Dragon Age Inquisition, they had same sex. Yeah, but who plays games. those games? Adults. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Those are all rated and mature. Play those games. Yeah, yeah. They, they certainly don't know what's going on in those <laughs> games that they do. Mass Effect Two. Yeah. Mass Effect Two has sex scenes. Is in that it? her writing? Mass somebody? Effect Two. Just cut the angle where I think all the Mass like, Effects do, don't they? Her, oh. Don't all the Mass Effects have? All sex the Mass Effects have. Yeah, I think Two was the, the one aliens? that was the most like lewd. I never played those. They look like they look like good games. Mass Effect was cool. We're playing for Very lewd. Yeah, I remember AG used to play it, but I never played it. So yeah, those are, those are like oh, speaking is, of AG, he's gonna be here next month, for like we, ten days. For ten days. Right. Yeah, we should go rage. Yeah, we'll fuck it, fuck shit up. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of people get butt hurt over things that are sexual. You should have a nature. show that weekend. That would be dope. Would be I am, but I'll be up north. Let's go. We'll all go. Sick. <laughs> no, fuck that. <laughs> Feel tired, but is that a good thing? Yeah. When is your next show? You, you got one for Super up Bowl? North. Right? Yeah. So, uh, this Thursday is or next Thursday. All right. In Riverside. So, Warboy, next Thursday, Riverside. Yeah. No was, one's going to have That's not the Super Bowl. That's I fucking you Thursday. Were, no. I thought you were asking to so say you can go. Oh, uh, yeah, but I mean. I don't know your. Uh, yeah, at Romano's Concert Lounge in Riverside, in downtown Riverside. Uh, shows at 8 or 9. Da- downtown Riverside. Yeah. yeah. Playing downtown at the Riverside. Super Bowl. Quick plug in there. Yeah. And then, we're, uh, then we're playing here, and then we're playing there, and then we're playing here. We've got like right. 10 shows lined up. Nice. So, hit us up on. The Instagrams and Facebooks. Warboy. Yeah. Just Google it. <laughs> a bunch of Mad Max shit will come out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Warboy like, band. You can also Google fuck your Yankee Blue Jeans, but then clerks will Yeah. Them. And then clerks will Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I haven't heard you play that song in a while. Uh, we don't play it. Ah, we don't even like that song anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what, what's, what's the one song you guys play all the time? Like, cause there's, everybody has that one song they have to play at every show. Well, since our catalog's not that big, we play most of our songs all the most time. Most of your songs all the time, okay. It's just, it's just songs that we just don't play no more. Because uh, okay. we have like 15 songs to choose. No, uh, 13 songs to choose from. Ah, okay. But we don't play all 13. We play like, we play like eight. eight. Uh-huh. We'll play eight of those songs and then we'll do like two covers. Ah, nice. Or we'll do nine in one cover. Nice. Cover shit like Red Red Wine and like yeah, Red Red Wine. I'm trying to think of some slow songs for a punk band to cover. <laughs> <laughs> Every step you take. <laughs> uh, what's the fucking they, stupid Space Jam song? With, oh, uh, I believe. Uh, yeah, I believe. Like, yeah, yeah. They do like. Uh, well, they do do punk. Like, what's it? They uh, do like pop heavy, band punk or something like that. Uh, they do whole heavy, yeah, they do heavy metal versions too of like fucking Taylor Swift. Yeah, they're terrible. Yeah. But it's like it's like this. I think they do it over like for t- jokes. Today's era. Of, yeah. Yeah. Uh, heavy metal. Well, no, there, there's a there's a whole '80s like there's, I, I forgot one. It's it's like a whole it's a whole punk album of just '80s songs redone. Well, it's not really punk. It's like. Pop it's a lack, pop, yeah. like it's a lack of creativity. It's, I guess it's, yeah, it's, 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 it might be more emo, but like, uh, like, um, there's like a, the guy that does the what is it? The one that does that? Go on, get up, uh, get down with the sickness. Oh, Richard the Cheese. Guy. What? You never heard Richard like, Cheese? What is that? What is, He's like a lounge that? singer. Lounge, uh, lounge. And he does a disturb song like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does like he does uh like it's like 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 straight Sinatra like lounge song. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Like you mother get like, that's up, just what you do. get down with like, you just, the sickness. Yeah. You just do that. That's shit. pretty funny. I mean, but he that's does, just like, the shit you do like when you're in your house. Yeah. Like I do that at my house when I'm like cleaning and shit. Yeah. Fucking like. He's making money. And I'll like sing rap songs, stupid like like in ways that it's not. But but to to be like oh here's an album of me fucking singing yeah. fucking all these good songs mm-hmm. retardedly like in a stupid style funny like 
Man, someone wants, like someone so wants to buy that. People buy that shit. Stupid. I, I don't think he'll. I think he'll. I mean, I could see him playing those songs like live at yeah. a, like a coffee shop or something. That'd be pretty fun. I'd see that. The the one song that <laughs> it, it, it bugs me every time I hear it because like for some reason I have I have like a punk playlist on Spotify that is like and because I don't have premium it's uh, like here's a recommended song for you. Yeah, yeah. And so one of them that keeps popping I can't remember the name of the band that does it but you know the song from Cardi Kid Two. From where? Yeah, like the Cardi Kid 2. Like that, uh, oh, it's a uh-huh. Peter Cetera song. Like that, uh, I'll be the hero that you're waiting for. You know, you know what I'm talking about? No. You've never heard that song? No. It's from no. Cardi Kid 2. It's like a very sappy, like, okay. like White Knight song, right? White Knight. <laughs> <laughs> and like there's a punk version of it, and it's just so terrible because it's like, it's really, it's just them singing it faster. Faster, yeah. <laughs> it sounds terrible. It's just so bad. Like, that song, remember? like, the punk version comes on on the, on the uh, Spotify? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's just because it's a punk playlist. Like, I think it's because I have a bunch. I have an 80s playlist, and I also have a punk playlist. That's uh, probably why, yeah. So they like, they like, oh, you like both of these. 80s punk. Here's, here's an 80s punk song, like a, a punk cover of an 80s song. Oh, my God. That sounds terrible. I'll see if I can find it after no, this. No, please don't. <laughs> um, but, yeah. What were we talking about before we got on the uh, How did we, we get on the music? We were talking about uh, how sales. good Tide cleans your clothes. Yeah. We got on the music because uh, he has a band. Yeah. You oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I wanted you to plug your shit, and then we got into that. Okay. Um. Thanks though. Nah, no worries. Fuck, uh, fuck Gabriel. <laughs> He's not invited. I don't want to go. Oh dang! Sick burn. That's right. <laughs> I said it. Face. Yeah. Scratch molded. <laughs> what do you guys um, got for the Super Bowl? Rams. Rams. All Rams. Base. Rams. All. I. I'm going for the Rams. Fuck the Patriots. I think they're gonna win. I don't I know. The Patriots. So Patriots are fucking good. Yeah, but the, I don't know. I, I, think, I they, think the Rams had a better chance. The Rams are young and they have spunk. They have a better defense <laughs> than the, the Chargers. <laughs> I think they got better defense than the Chargers and the Chiefs. Did. Yes. That so I, I will think agree that's going to balance out. But, I feel I feel like the Rams had a be, have a better chance against the Patriots than they did against the Chiefs. I think the Saints were a harder game for them than the, yeah. than the Patriots are going to be. Yeah. I don't know. Cause that fucking that, know, that, that crowd was crazy in the first half. Yeah, and then once they couldn't do shit, shit. for the whole first quarter, dude, because no. the the crowd was so loud. Yeah, they couldn't. Do and then anything. they just got into it, and then they just fucking. Yeah, they figured it out. Yeah. It was, no, still, I mean, a it was still a sloppy. It was still a sloppy win, oh, yeah. but they got the win. Mm-hmm. Do you hear? Uh, like uh, I guess uh, bars are in New Orleans or are are. are uh, they're not, they're not. They're, they're, they're not. They're not gonna, gonna play, play this because that's stupid. I hate how they, that's stupid call. I hate, how they could, uh, I hate how like you, you can't boil the whole game down Over to one, one play. One no, it's like you played yourself into that position where where a yeah. penalty mattered for you to lose that game. You yeah. should have been. You should have. You should have. Yeah. They still other. scored on you guys. And then they had another chance. And then they had another chance to score in overtime, and they didn't do shit. Yeah. So, so it's, it's yeah. so yeah. can't bitch about one fucking play. It's funny. ESPN they put out a they did a Madden um. Simulation of that exact play. They they did it exactly how it happened in the game, uh-huh. and the ref called pass the ref interference calls it every time. <laughs> every every time. time. They called it every time. They run they run it a thousand times. Yeah, man, a thousand the, times. He called, called the flag. <laughs> um, there's a petition out right now. The last I, the last time I checked it, it was 550 thousand people had signed it. Demanding the NFL. We're talking about when the Rams rematch. corner hit the, yeah, the receiver. Yeah, yeah. When he hit something, like, yeah, he just smashes into him. And then they should so then they should have had the ball at like the five yard line or yeah. Or, Half, Something okay. like that, yeah. yeah. But um, oh my god! Yeah, and and five hundred fifty thousand people have signed a petition demanding that the NFL uh, have a rematch between that. That's, the, that's a waste of money. And well, the thing about sore losers. And if the NFL ever even considered doing that, how many fucking it would, times it would, would change? It would just it change. Would change everything. Yeah. Would just, yeah. They're like, oh, it would my team lost this yeah, rematch. Like, you pay, yeah, the, the fans would just run everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> The Eagles won that game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, they lost. lost Petition. Like, they lost by like ten points. Nah, they won. <laughs> it started with a kickoff, you know. Like. They got blown out. It was fifty to zero. <laughs> no, no, it was, there's no way. Oh my and god! I, and I, the, the, you didn't see the game I saw. My argument to that not that non-call is there have been bad calls throughout the entire history of the NFL. It's yeah. still it's still uh, officiated by humans. You know what I mean? So this, if it's a, you know, yeah, but and, and it's not just one referee. It's not like it's like, oh, that referee didn't call it. There's how many referees on the field? Yeah, uh, there's a lot. I'm, of a, I'm a, and you know, I'm a Ram Dick Rider. I've always been a Ram Dick Rider, but I could see that. No, the I NFL mean, wants LA to 
be a big a big franchise. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Well, and then they it's make like a lot of money. Yeah. Every, every, it's pretty every much team. a rematch of the World Series. Yeah, every LA team. Yeah, yeah the Red Sox. They always want every and and any any uh, sport or big sport they want the LA team to be big because yeah, because big, we are big. It's a big market. Yeah. yeah. And this that is, is well, this is a rematch of it's 2001 that they played the Patriots. Yeah. The Super Bowl. Yeah. Right. Yep. 2001. So. I mean, I'm looking forward. I think it's gonna be a great game either way. Yeah, but we got a fucking show and it's stupid. <laughs> when we booked it and they when they did, I didn't know the Super Bowl was on that date. Or I wouldn't have said yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't. Is it always the first week of February? No. Yeah, it usually is. Last year was like January 27th. The year the year <laughs> after the year before that was like always, February 10th. I feel like it's, uh, I it was always it's like around the same time. No. Yeah, yeah, it's always around the same time. Like it's the but end of January, beginning of February. Play, how long? How long but, the playoffs go? Or when they when they do? Well, how how early they start the season? I'm sorry. Yeah, I because guess. It, it might push into the because this year the playoffs ended super early, but last year the playoffs ended super late, so that's why they pushed it. Like, yeah. To like the middle of February or like the second week, and then when they got rid of the Pro Bowl, I think that just added another. It's been a good season though. Yeah, this has been a really good. This Compared was the last one season. of this was one of my favorite, like the most interesting. Yeah, the Raiders did amazing this year. Yeah, they did. <laughs> I don't even think I watched one Raider game. Well, they're they gonna be. They're, they're gonna be. On, you know, they're gonna be in San Diego Stadium next year. They're they're they talk to San Diego. Yeah. I don't. It's not for sure. But oh, that'd be hilarious. Fucking they, play the, they play the L.A. Chargers in San Diego, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. a home game in San Diego. <laughs> then you fucking. Oh, well, they so. would. That's and what I, they they'll would be play playing it. at. They'll be playing at the at Qualcomm Stadium. Yeah. Too, like, so dumb. Like, what is the? That's funny. And then they're gonna go to Vegas. That's gonna be badass when they're in Vegas, though. Dude, uh, when we went to Vegas for the show a couple weeks ago. They're building the stadium. Uh-huh. It's fucking huge. Yeah, that shit's gonna be pretty big yeah. when they go to Vegas. I'm still bummed that the, the, the. I bet you they get a Super Bowl within their the first like. Oh yeah. Four, within their first four years. They would have yeah. to get a Super Bowl. And, and like the mobs gonna be in um, it. Imagine how much. Imagine how much. Because <laughs> Vegas is nuts as it is. Now imagine a, a Super Bowl team, fucking yeah. weekend. Oh yeah. In Vegas. Be I already heard that they're raising prices for all the hotels. I wonder if they'll. In the I wonder if it's right next to the airport. I wonder when they'll do the Super Bowl at the at Vegas. Probably next year. Yeah, right. Like they, should, should, uh, they should. They should. Yeah, that'd be. Yeah. Well, I, th- um, I think they do them like five years out. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, still bummed that they're building the stadium. They'll have it in LA too. They'll probably have. A oh yeah, because that one's yeah. But it's gonna be a Charger and Ram. Yeah, stadium. it's gonna be a joint. But I'm I'm bummed they they because they're they're building the stadium by close to LA Live. Cause, Are Chargers LA now? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, they play at uh in Carson. At yeah, the, we got two teams, bro. Stub up. Uh, yeah. Um, I but, even, always thought it was going to be one or the other. I didn't know both were coming. Yeah. They're already here. Yeah. Yeah. They've been here for the last two years. Whatever. You, <laughs> whatever. I don't want. I don't listen to football. Did you hear? What <laughs> <I don't listen. laughs> <laughs> did, did you hear what the other site that they wanted to build the stadium? Yeah, no we football right podcast. Okay, yeah, City of Industry. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah it'd be that dump right there off fifty seven yeah. sixty. Yeah. yeah. That would have been, been fucking awesome. awesome. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Dude, that would have been super dope. It would have been like super dope. But then dope. there's already traffic right there. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, that would have been rough. We would have never, ever left. I would have just stayed in Ontario. I would never come this way, ever. <laughs> I'd be like, this is fucking stupid. Or I'd take like a tan and get off on a zoo so just come up. Just go all the fucking way around. Yeah. Because yeah. it would be, still be faster than trying to hit the... Yeah. Movie. But I mean, that would have been... Because like, like, there's a lot to do out here, but like not enough to bring people from out of town here. You know, not or not or But I mean, you think about it like it's not in. It's you see the amount of people that go to like the L.A. Fair and it's in Pomona. Yeah, yeah. They don't have the L.A. Fair in fucking downtown or no nope, anywhere nope. any city close because it's a fucking mess. It's yeah, and that's the thing about like like the like just like the Staples Center during a Lakers game. Dude, it's just trying impossible. to be in that area. Yeah, yeah. Now they're gonna have the, the fucking the Staples Center, the Convention Center, L.A. Live, and a football stadium yeah. right there. That's gonna be fucking. Nuts. Yeah, they just built that one stadium too for the new uh, uh, soccer team, right? Oh next yeah, to the Coliseum. yeah. The stadium wants to be Inglewood. No, that's it's right. It's by LA Live, right? They're building the stadium. No, that wasn't Inglewood. Pretty Eagle sure Wood. it's in Inglewood. It sounds like the one one on five. I don't uh, fucking know. Yeah, isn't it by the forum? Yeah, that's what it's by. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be by LA like Live. Oh, okay, no, they built that one. I think that was, I think that's a soccer. Oh, uh, the soccer stadium. Okay, yeah. I thought that was gonna be the football stadium. Oh, maybe I don't know. No football. Football. The other football. The wrong football. Um, you heard about this whole bullshit between Bill Maher, uh, Bill Maher, Bill, Bill Maher, Bill Maher, and uh, and Kevin Smith. No. So 
when Stan Lee died, Bill Maher, like, on his show was, like, pretty much, he pretty much came out and it was, like, about like, comic books. Was he, like, oh, was, was he saying that, that he, like, that, uh, he was making people, the American people dumb with his comic books? And, yeah. Because it's blah, 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 and. Yeah, it's like it's I like I thought I saw something. I read something like that so, on the internet. I, I, like the internet lost their goddamn minds because you know. I mean, Who it's cares? it's like like Who cares about if, if you're gonna that's tell like us, telling I don't know if he still that's has like show. saying God is it's on great. HBO. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know he had that show, but who watches it? I don't know. Fucking, fucking, fucking who fucking still watches Bill Nazis? Maher? Fucking yeah. some old white people. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much people who hate fucking everybody that's not white. Protestant. Oh, the, the the last time I heard about Bill Maher was uh, uh, Ice Cube roasting him for saying, I think he said nigger. Or, <laughs> nigger or he said nigger. Yeah, he might have said nigger. But yeah, Ice Cube was roasting him. Man, you can't be saying that. But yeah, so he said he said that about uh, about Stan Lee during, uh, right after his death. And then so, was the name? like, people lost their minds. And Kevin Smith, like, who doesn't start shit with anybody. Like, didn't really start shit. He was just like, man, that's fucked up to take a shot when there's no fucking shot to be taken. Yeah, yeah but everybody you know I mean? does that. And yeah. But there's so, those ones that go around the internet where they go, when somebody dies, uh, and then they get like somebody who looks like them, and then they're like, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> He's so alive. Died. And, yeah. uh, and it's like Hulk Hogan or something. Uh, you know, like, <laughs> wait, Hulk Hogan died? No, like no, like, no. Like, he's like, saying like, that's he's what, saying like, there's like a Hulk Hogan like, look alike that died. Like, oh, it'll yeah. be like oh Macho Man, like Macho Man died, and then they'll put up a picture of Hulk Hogan and be like oh Macho Man died. Yeah, 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 no, I guess Hulk, Hulk Hogan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what people do every time, yeah. every single time. Yeah, it's funny. I think it's funny. So, but take this out. So, Bill Maher, he <laughs> comes. Funny, he, yeah. <laughs> Like yeah, I mean, I could still be sad about somebody dying and then laugh at a funny. Joke oh yeah, yeah, no, and that and that, that's, that's what you gotta the whole do sometimes. Point. <laughs> yeah. but so, but Bill Maher, the thing is, was Bill Maher wasn't making a joke. He was just saying, "Fuck." He was he was pretty much saying, "Fuck comic books," and this guy died because I mean, yeah, like fuck him. Like why are we mourning because he he made, all he did was make comic books. You know what I mean? And so yeah, that guy's an idiot. Because no one's gonna feel that way about Bill Maher when he dies. They're yeah, be like oh, Bill Maher's dead. Like, Who's he? Right. All right. One he, didn't touch, on TV. he didn't touch people's lives the way Stan yeah. Lee did. And so he came out and was like, oh, people are upset because I said this. And I wasn't saying this about Stan Lee. I was saying it about comic books. Uh, but, you know, I'm getting attacked by these people that, you know, they're a, a grown men that dress like children. And they show the picture of Kevin Smith because, you know, he always wears the hockey jerseys and shit. And so, like, he's, and he starts talking shit on Kevin Smith, like, just going off on him. Right? And so Kevin Smith was like, all right, I mean, because he came out and was like, yeah, like, he can talk shit, like, whatever, you know, but he's really a, a pussycat when, it, when he comes to being confronted. And he put, uh, there's, like, a YouTube clip in, in the tweet that he posted, and the tweet, uh, the, the YouTube clip is, like, Kevin Smith was on his show, like, because remember when he, uh, when Kevin Smith got kicked off the plane for being too fat? No, I don't remember. They were like, you need to buy two seats because you're too big. And he was like, no, nah, fuck that, I'm not buying two seats. And they're like, okay, well, then you need to get off the plane. And so he did that whole comedy special called Too Fat to Fly and all that stuff. Uh-huh. And so Bill Maher was talking shit about him when he got kicked off the plane. Like, like this fat motherfucker got kicked off the plane. And so then, like, Kevin Smith called him out on the show. Like, oh, you called me a fat motherfucker. And he was like, oh, you know, I'm sorry about that. Just, like, I started apologizing, like, on, on his show. Yeah. And so the YouTube clip is, like, literally, like, I confronted him about something he talked shit on me about. And he just turned, turned into a pussycat and starts apologizing. So, like, uh, this is going to be no different. You know what I mean? So, so like, are Bill Maher and Kevin Smith going to fight now? That'd be cool. Cause I don't know, but Kevin Smith just had the heart attack. You know, so. <laughs> he lost that was a lot like, of weight. That was like... He lost a lot of weight, and he could have that muscle from carrying all that weight. Wait, on. wait yeah. They're doing another uh, Jan, Silent and Bob. Huh? Yeah, Jan, Silent and Bob Ruby. I think it's... Oh, do I still have... Oh, it's, how's that going to work? Are they, are they going to... Is it going to be like new people two. playing them, or...? No. It's called... So, you know, the Jan, Silent and Bob was about no, making of the Jan, and Silent and Bob movie. And they were trying to stop it. Yeah. So this one is they're trying to make a Jay and Bias and Bob reboot off of that movie. And Jay and Silent Bob are trying to stop that now. <laughs> so it's pretty much Jay and Silent Bob strike back again. Like, <laughs> oh, that's kind of gay. But, it's like, that's, but that's, that's, that's the joke. You know what I mean? It's like they're trying oh. to stop. Because right now everything's getting rebooted. So it's like now they're trying ah, to reboot. Ah, yeah, you're right. So now, it's, so now it's Jay and Silent Bob strike or Jay and Silent Bob reboot. And it's just about them trying to stop. So it. someone's making Jay and Silent Bob. The comic book movie that came out in the first movie. Yeah, yeah. They're making a oh, reboot yeah, of that. that. Yeah. And they're like, no, fuck that. This reboot shouldn't happen. So that's the movie is them trying to stop the reboot. It's pretty funny. But I thought they stopped the movie in the first one. No, they, no, they, they didn't. I think they, they got there and then they, 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 they like got involved in the movie. Yeah. 
And then remember like at the premiere that has a chick from Chasing Amy who's like, oh, why don't they make uh, yeah. one of your other movies like uh, uh, from your, uh, your other comics like Chasing Amy? Yeah. Like, yeah. So. Um, Sick. But yeah, so that's what this is all about. So but, we all old. Right. Well, see, the, the thing is, like, because Kevin Smith, he was talking about it, too, where he um, he had to go and rewrite a bunch of jokes because when he wrote the original script, he was fat. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and half the, jokes were, half the jokes were Jay calling him a fat yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah. Fat had an overcoat. <laughs> so he wasn't like, even that fat, too, in those ones, either. No, he, he wasn't. Just, he got he really fat. No, he just oh. looked fat because he had, like, the sweater oh, and a coat and shit. Guess, but, like, yeah. when you were there, I'd be like, he's not even that fat. Yeah, no, he, yeah. he got really big. I think he was almost 400 pounds at one point. No fucking way. Let me see here. That's, no, that's malarkey. That's poppycock. Yeah, he probably was. It's poppycock. Because he was way fatter than me. Kevin He's probably Smith? like my height. No fucking way. I've never seen him big, ever. Yeah, well, he was huge at one point. Hmm. Uh, I, I, he was three, th- 330 pounds at one point. Dang. So that's, that's and that's not even the final. Oh, it's not his final morph. Yeah. That's not his, that's not his final, final that's, stage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, dang. He's a big dude. Yeah, that's not even his final form. But yeah, he got he, he was three hundred thirty pounds at one point. I like that Kevin James comes up as well. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin James. <laughs> Kevin James is in the like related related searches. Kevin James weight loss. Kevin Hart. Yeah, it's Kevin Hart. I mean. Kevin Federline. Who's the other one that we get? Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we just because you know because uh Kevin Kevin James and Kevin Smith always get mixed up. But also you can throw Kevin Hart. Oh, actually Kevin Hart. Kevin Smith did get mixed up with Kevin Hart for something. Um, what? Was his, yeah, so um, what's his name? Jordan, Jordan Peele is doing that new uh, movie that he got. Because uh, you know how they, he did Get Out? What, yeah. Us? Us. He's got that new movie called yeah. Us. Uh-huh. And it's like the, the, the monsters in that one, they have these golden knives that they kill people with. Okay. And they so. They stab you in the balls. I didn't know they like, could get caught. Or something. Pretty much, yeah. Even if you don't got one. Uh, but uh, <laughs> so. Jordan Peele sent out a bunch. I guess it's like a frame. That's not what it's about. That was about like the cut your dick off. No, I don't know what it's about. Really, it's about like it's like it's like. What are you talking about? Are you talking about us or yeah, are you talking about? It's just about monsters that come around. Cut dick, dick, dick off. No, <laughs> the trailer is it's like, like <laughs> dicks walking around. <laughs> I was so like, so oh, your man. dicks out is what you're saying. <laughs> He's got a very artsy new artsy film coming out. But, the uh, monsters only cut your dick off. But yeah, he sent he sent framed versions of those scissors with a little like thank you note or note or whatever, you know, to all these different people. And the one that Ke- he sent one to Kevin Smith, but in the thing it says thank you Kevin Hart. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. So Ke- Ke- so Kevin Hart got Kevin Smith. Yeah. Kevin thank Smith. you. Oh. But uh, so you know it's 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 Kevin and a one syllable name. It's Kevin Smith, Kevin Hart, Kevin James. That's why Kevin Costner doesn't fall into the list because yeah, it's a double syllable. Yep. Two syllable. That's dumb. Is it two silvers? Two silvers? Two, two, two silvers. You got a bet on the you know, syllables. You got to play, play some bet on Cost, the, Is on it Costner? Costner. What? Or is it Costner? Can we remember the whole syllable? Ruben's thing? got to place his bet on the Me Too pool. On the Me Too pool. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like who's, who's next on the list? Who's yeah. the next person to get called out for sexual deviancy? Who hasn't been called out? There's a lot of people that haven't been called out, but. My my money's on the guy that was the dude from Loose Loose. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, who's a fucking weirdo? That's not a weirdo, but is a weirdo. That's a good Sheldon. Sheldon. He's, he's, he's gay, he's cool, but yeah, I mean, sick. He, he would still be a Kevin. fucking sick fuck. Yeah, what's his name? Kevin Spacey. He's Kevin Spacey, yeah. Since. Um. Dang. Who's the dude who plays Napoleon Dynamite? That dude looks like a weirdo. <laughs> What's his name? J- oh James God. what? Is it James? Uh, Jimmy? No. no, that's from... Bal- Header. Uh, J- Header. Header? Yeah, Hader? something Header. Header? John uh, Header. John Header? Um, I, yeah. don't, or, I don't think so. Or fucking Eric Foreman. He's a fucking weirdo, too. Topher Grace. Topher oh, no, Grace no, no, Grace, no, no, yeah. no. You know who... Uh, didn't, there was there was one where the uh, Hyde... Hyde got... Yeah, he's not on the... Hyde got He's not on the... The yeah. ranch. Yeah, the, the ranch. ranch. They kicked his ass off. They made him... They killed him off. They killed him off. Yeah. Yeah, because he had a, uh, a couple of accusations. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about him. And then there was, what's his name from? Um, Fez. Bob Saget. That's a good one. Yeah. Bob Saget. I don't know if he's from his The fucking Olsen. Pudding. I could see Bob Saget. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't think. DJ. 
I don't think he's like powerful enough. So like he's kind of like a. Low <laughs> oh, that is. Yeah, but no, but yeah, he, and fucking, gotta be like a high ranking celebrity, from like R. Kelly. That show was? Like R. Uh, Kelly is kind of like the pipe, or he was the yeah, the pipe piper, king of R and B and shit. The That's Pied true. Piper that someone who has juice. There was that the, the on, on Breakfast Club that food keeps like saying the Pied Piper because that food the Pied Piper would like that food would get the rats or whatever out or the snakes or whatever with his music he would get them out. Mm-hmm. But I guess like the 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 legend was yeah he got he got him out and the town refused to pay him. And so he made him. So he he fucking did the same thing with but he got all the children out and then no one ever saw their kids again. Yeah. <laughs> that's why that's yeah, why that's, R. Kelly that's, the that's why R. Kelly calls himself the Pied Piper cuz he fucking he takes people's kids. kids and they don't fucking see him ever again. <laughs> 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 yeah. Fuck. That's brutal. That's gnarly. <laughs> oh shit. Fuck. You know what? I think on that note we should just wrap this shit. Yeah. Um, what do you got on your me too cool? I don't know who I got. I'm gonna have to think about that. We'll come back with that on the next episode. Um, I feel like it's gonna be somebody who's dead already, like a Hugh Hef. And be like, oh, this oh, dead yeah. fuck is like a perv, by the way. Oh, what if like, or like and Bob? Then, and then there's gonna be people who are like, how do you not know Hugh Hef? No, was perv. Everybody knew. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> some black, some black comedian be like, oh, yo, go after Hugh Hef. Everybody knew he was, he was raping people. <laughs> you guys were fine with it. When he was rich, now he's dead. You want to come after him? Well, uh, <laughs> yeah. Stan Lee had some shit going on right after he passed away. They were like, Stan Lee was a fucking perv too. Um, I thought I heard that. A pervert, you know? I, feel like, I think that turned out to be it's like false accusations, but I, I feel like they said something about I him too. I could see that, I, but I feel like uh, the head, the leader of the like the New York Police Department, but, <laughs> Rudy Giuliani. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, I think something with the with the Stan Lee thing. I think he just kind of was being like an old creep. I feel like once you're like past seventy five and you're flirting on chicks, the, the, there's no me too when you're fucking seventy five. But you're just the old creep, and you don't know how to fucking communicate well. Hey, we got yeah. fifteen seconds left, so we have to cut this off. Why? Do we Why? It only lasts like you an hour. You get an hour, and then you got to start another segment. Yeah. Oh. It's so it's fine. Only He's only making a bigger de- deal out of it than it needs to be. <laughs> yeah, we're oh, we're um, still recording? Yeah. Oh, so sick. so last week what we did was we recorded on the mobile app and we recorded off this microphone. The same time? The same time. And we at wanted to see which one had better audio quality. At the same damn No, time. we did we did one show and then we recorded the same show the exact verbatim. Same. <laughs> as, 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 we were writing, as we were doing the show, we were writing everything down, down. to the breathing. Yeah, that's how professional. That's how professional. Yeah, we've gotten yeah. with our Tide sponsorship. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Only, only <laughs> a podcast sponsored by Tide can do. This. Could do that. Yeah. So, and we wanted to see which one had better audio quality, and that's why there's one that says one that was recorded on the PC and one that was recorded. Oh, on the mobile. so who, who, what's so who's the winner? To me, they sound almost identical. Like I said, on the PC version, I think I can hear my breathing more. But yeah, it depends on what you're listening on. Like, well, I'm, listen- listen- I'm listening on, on on like earbuds. I'm uh-huh. listening on like actual like the over the ear headphones. Uh-huh. I listen to in my car. I listen to off of this. Oh, I listen to as many of mediums as I could. At least when we don't. Wow. When we do it on the PC, we don't have to put up with your phone ringing and vibrating. Yeah, that's so. That's the one thing. Cause like, yeah. but see, you know what? Have you noticed this whole time my phone hasn't gone off once? But if we would have been recording on it, yeah, it would have been going off. Because like, you're here. Who's going to call you? No, my phone, like, like I get, like, you know, like, oh, like, a game that I'm playing. Like, you're uh, live, the refill. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Yeah, and he's got that Metal Gear. Uh, the me- yeah, the Metal Gear alert. Yeah, Mad Alerts, son. Mad Alerts, Mad Alerts. So, but I think on that note, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Wrap it up, B. Um, oh, what? you know who might be getting a Me Too moment? Ooh. Bernie Sanders. Bernie's- oh, I heard about that shit. Yeah, someone's accusing him of being a fucking perv. He looks like a perv. He does look like a, it's those glasses. It's so it's the way he holds it, he puts his hands up. Yeah, the way yeah. It's because I, I think I think Chubb Bidge. My one is on Chubb Bidge. It's because Afu had a, a little fuck here rabbi suck his dick when he was a baby. He's <laughs> Jewish. What? Yeah, isn't he Jewish? I don't think so. Oh, it's Sanders? It's not pretty. That's not Sanders. He's it's not, not Jewish. Bernie. Bernie, Bernie is Bernie. The most Bernie. Jewish, the most Jewish you can get. But he, his name could be like Bernard. And then who's got like a, a Jew voice. That's racist. The one percent of the Sanders. <laughs> he's always talking about one percent. Uh, Fractions of percent. Yeah. So you know he's Jewish. Don't forget <laughs> to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash the real press start. On Twitter's at real press start. 
Uh, you can find us on iTunes, Spreaker, SoundCloud. Oh, right. Spotify. This is on iTunes? Yeah. Oh. We're all over the place. You man. have to be on a special app, though. It has to be through, like, a... It's not... A, no, you can't do it on the podcast app. You can go through the iTunes app. Yeah, but it has to be through the podcast app. If that's no, how you do it. You can do it through iTunes. Well, yeah. Well, no, iTunes. Whatever I... However... You know, you know Rabbi suck, suck baby dick, right? <laughs> they bite the foreskin off of the teeth. Is that what you're saying? I'm just, I'm just saying you can't just go they on do. iTunes. And get no, what are you talking about? Right there. Yeah. See. Uh, Why are you a dingle dick? Uh, iTunes, Google Play Music, anywhere you can get podcasts, you can That's get. Oh, well, I already subscribed to this. Oh, nice. A dingle dick. They're like, because you get fucking. And on that note, you got like, <laughs> yeah, no, more dick. Dick. <laughs> no more questions. <laughs>